Hi, my name is Dr. Rajiv Agarwal and I'm from Care IVF Kolkata. Every month, the woman goes through the menstrual cycle where she undergoes many changes in her body. Despite being physiological and normal, there are still doubts and myths related to the menstrual periods and its association with fertility. The source of information and sometimes misinformation is obviously the internet. Thus today, I have decided to speak about menstrual cycles and how it affects fertility health. The lining of the womb builds up in the womb in anticipation of pregnancy happening that month. When pregnancy does not happen, the lining breaks down and sheds. This shedding of the lining which comes out through the vagina in the form of blood mixed with the lining is called the menstrual cycle. It has two phases, follicular that is before the egg is released by the ovary and luteal that is after the egg is released. Menstrual cycles happen after about 28 days though this may vary from 21 to 35 days. For a woman with regular menstrual cycles, around day 14 is when ovulation happens. And this is the most fertile period for her. There are plenty of apps now available on smartphones which can tell you your fertile period very easily. Intercourse should happen before or on the day of ovulation. If it happens more than 24 hours after ovulation, it is not fruitful. There are kits which determine the LH or luteinizing hormone in urine and can tell you when ovulation is about to occur. These kits are reasonably accurate. A better test is doing serial ultrasound scans and this will tell you more accurately when ovulation is happening. A single blood test for progesterone hormone done on day 21 of periods can also tell you if ovulation has already happened but cannot tell you the day when the ovulation happened. The flow during the periods can be extremely heavy or light. There can be severe pain during periods or the periods can come very frequently or quite late. Or someone can have bleeding or spotting throughout the month. These disorders can happen because of uh, issues like stress, or thyroid gland dysfunction, extreme weight gain or weight loss, eating disorders. Uh, if you take some medications, then again menstrual disorders can happen. Or if there are some problems like endometriosis or polycystic ovarian syndrome, or sometimes there are polyps or grape-like structures inside the uterine cavity or womb, which can give rise to these menstrual problems. A visit to the doctor becomes necessary when you have one of the following or when one of the following happens. When one bleeds for more than 7 days. When periods are less than 21 days or more than 35 days apart. When bleeding is very heavy or when spotting or bleeding happens throughout the month. So the key takeaway message from me to all of you would be every woman's body is different and so is her menstrual cycle. In this difficult situation, I will encourage couples to utilize this time together to know more about fertility health. For more information, please consult an IVF specialist.